So we're starting on the toe section, and the first thing we're going to do is put a slip knot in. Let's go over again real quick. It goes over the crossbar, underneath, comes on top of the loop, and through. And that cinches up. And I'm going to uh, burn that end so it doesn't slip through. more. Okay. And we're going to go back and forth to tighten that up. It's about as tight as I'm going to get it. I've already got everything marked. I've got my toe wrapped and I'm going to start doing the weave on the toe here. Okay, so here's our first. We have the slip knot. Here's our uh, second step. Uh, stage. This is actually the first girth hitch, and we're going to come across here to number three. Around it. Remember, this is long. We're going to tighten that up. And then number four is on the crossbar. And remember that it's going to come to the left side this time and that it always goes on this particular one starts out on top of on top of and then goes underneath this guy because because rights always go underneath the horizontal so now we're looking for number five, which is going to be right here. Okay. Right there. Like, right close to the toe. Uh, wrap where you uh, wrapped it. So, once again, it's a girth hitch. Get my scissors out of the way. I'll do that for a while. Six is horizontally across. So I'm going to tighten that up and come across here. Looking for number seven. It's going to be down here. Okay, so I want that like right on the end of that. Toe wrap. And then down to number seven. So now we're going to start doing some of our lacing. And remember that with your lacing, I always have to get this in front of me. It is, and I'll put this on the screen for you again. It 
This is a left, and the lefts are always on top of a horizontal and underneath the right. So there's a right. Remember, I'm headed down towards, I'm sorry, yeah, no, that is a left. I'm always checking myself, is it a left or a right? Okay, so this is a left. Lefts always go underneath rights and on top of a horizontal. Okay, so remember we're coming to the left of this one. Here's number seven, and this is now a right. Rights always go underneath a horizontal. So now we're looking for number eight. Number eight is. up above two. So I'm gonna make sure that I don't have any little crinkles in there. And I'm gonna come here. Okay, so that's another girth hitch. That's number eight. And like I say, you can mark these if you want to. I don't, I just look at the diagram. That seems to work just as well for me. And I did try bundling that up, but then it was more pain trying to get it through all the holes. Plus, my brain does not work that way this morning, so. This is number eight. And we're going to go across to nine. As soon as I tighten up that hitch. Okay, so I'm on marker number eight. And you'll notice that I will pull that down as tight as I can and then pull it up and that tightens it up really nice. Okay, so I'm doing a horizontal. And horizontals always go on top of rights, that's a left, and underneath a left. So underneath a left and on top of a right. And I'm always checking my work. So I'll look at the one that was previous and say, oh yeah, that's right. So here's number nine. Another girth hitch. Okay, there's number nine. Now we're going up to 10. I'm sorry, we're going down to 10. 10 is down here on the crossbar once again. So this is a right, and rights go underneath horizontals and on top of lefts. So it goes on top of the, let's see, that's a right. I'm doing a left, sorry. They go on top of horizontals and underneath right. So that's underneath the right on top of a horizontal. Comes down and around. Now this is a right. Rights always go underneath a horizontal. underneath a horizontal and on top of a left. And we're looking for number 11, which is right beneath five. And I'll look over here just to make sure. Am I both under here? Yes, I am. This is a horizontal, I'm underneath here. And then I'll look here and say, okay, if this is underneath, that has to be on top, and that one's right. Always a good thing. And I'm gonna do my hitch up here. And even though that seems a little redundant, it's worth it to check it. Because if you don't, and you look, oh, well this one's wrong here, that means I gotta take all this other stuff out to get to here. So um, it's worth checking your work every time to make sure it looks right. 
Why do I know that? Because I've done a lot of ripping out. So, and it's not a big deal. And I mean, I've done quite a few of these, but every time I do it, you can tell I gotta look at that diagram to make sure. So I'm always checking, always looking at the diagram. Always looking for the golden rule <coughs> of lacing. Okay, so I'm tightening this one up again. Like I say, I'll pull down on it and up and make sure it's tight. That's 11, we're going over to 12, which is right here, we've got it marked. This is a horizontal. And horizontals go on top of rights and underneath lefts. girth hitch. So I'm going to continue weaving this up. I don't think you guys need a point by point. Um, my next one's down here at 13. Okay, so I'm going to come down this way. And then when it gets to um, 14 and 15, I'll stop and talk to you about what makes that different than just following your diagram. Okay, so when you're coming from 15 down to 16, this is actually the first time that you get a star that's completed. One, two, three, one, two, three. So make sure that when you come down, you're going underneath the right and then hitting this horizontal past that one. Okay, don't do it on the inside of this, on the outside of it. Okay, um, I'm at 17 and I'm going over to 18. And this is common. Why is that wrong? If I look right here, remember the horizontal's got to be underneath the X. Underneath the X, even though I'm correct in that this horizontal is on top of the rights and under the, under the lefts, it's still got to be underneath this guy. The X's are always on top of... Okay, so in order to make 17 to 18 work, this is on top of a right, and then it's under a left. If you do right, right, left, left, it won't be underneath this guy. And it, this 17 to 18 needs to be with the X on top. So then you just continue over because a horizontal is always on top of a right and underneath a left. Okay, so that's a little tricky too. 17 to 18, watch that one. So, because you'd normally think, all right, well, it's just right, right, left, left. Now, this is where you got to start picking up that X, and the X always has to be on top of the horizontal. Okay, so we are now at 21. We just finished that. Now, this is one of those half hitch things. So it's going to come down to, actually, this is 15, and I'm going to go over it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I am. I'm going to go over it and then I'm going to come just like I did on my cross brace down here. I'm going to come to the left of it. Make sure it's not twisted. All right. And then, so that's 22 and then 23 is up here. Remember I said it was going to be covered when you went around it? There you go. So 23, 24. But I just want you to make sure that you know that 22 is actually a wrap on the 15 hitch. All right, and then I'm going to go up here. Same thing. This is a right, so rights go underneath the horizontal. Left, right, left. Let's see. So this was a horizontal, left. Horizontal left, so I'm looking for a horizontal, even though it's up here. Horizontal left, horizontal. Okay. 
And then here's my station up here. So that's 23. And then I'm going to come across to 24. And then I'm going to come all the way down here to 25. And that is the toe. This is 23. I'm going to come over here to 24. Tighten that up. And then all the way down to 25. So let's see what that looks like. Okay. So I'm going to start by going under a right and over a horizontal. Under a right, over a horizontal, 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 under a right, over a horizontal. And then I'm actually going to make my knot right here, which is a, a cinch knot again. Okay? And that's the toe.